So we're always looking to uh, revise our programs, make sure that uh, they're up to date, they're topical, they're catching the, the latest issues that businesses are worrying about. Uh, I think a, a really good example of that is our MBA program, which is quite, quite different uh, to others. Uh, it's One Planet MBA. It's uh, an MBA that we founded jointly with WWF. And the, the core of it is thinking about how do you run businesses sustainably? Or if you like, how do you make sure that the business that you're managing and running now is still a great business in 25 years' time? So right throughout the whole program is this notion of long-term value creation and sustainable business. Uh, so I think that, that's been really quite, quite a different program, really something quite, quite innovative, and actually has led to lots of great ideas, and uh, even our undergraduate programs where sustainability and ethics is a, is a very strong theme for us. Constant dialogue with uh, corporate partners, uh, one of whom gave us this, this fantastic challenge, which is to say, okay, well, our business is changing so quickly that we, we're not really sure what we'll need in three years' time, never mind ten years' time. How do you, how do you teach your undergraduates so that they've got flexibility, mental flexibility, and a skill set that will equip them for a world where we can't even know what job they'll be doing when they graduate, uh, when they start? So the, our corporate partners have been really good at pushing us not to do the sort of standard linear program that I know I did when I was an undergraduate, but really think about how do we pr prepare our students for a world that's going to be quite, quite different when they graduate. One uh, development that we're working on right now uh, is looking at how the uh, data revolution should feature in our program. So we all know about the internet, uh, increasingly we know about the internet of things and just the amount of data that we confront each day. Uh, so we're thinking uh, in our undergraduate programs, how do we expose our students to uh, data analytical techniques to be used in business, for example marketing. And we're actually working on putting together a specialist master's program, which will be very interdisciplinary, involve uh, uh, faculty from the business school but also from our engineering and computer science departments really to bring together that powerful combination of having good data science and also the business and management skills for, a, uh, for an MSc in business analytics. We're fortunate at Exeter that leadership studies has been an area of strength for us for going on for, for 20 years. Um, I think you can see in the literature and then the way in which we teach it, evolving notions of what a leader is from the big hero type of chief executive that everybody just follows blindly to a more modern notion of what leadership is, which is influencing, persuading, supporting, um, uh, a, a much more collaborative approach to, to, to leading and that's very much how we approach leadership. Uh, we expose our undergraduates to leadership. They might be as yet lacking in experience of leadership but we know they're going to go on to be leaders of businesses in the future so we make sure that they're exposed to what makes for an effective leadership and of course then as we go through to the MBA leadership is one of the, the golden threads, we call it, that runs right throughout the course. So from, from the beginning, reflecting on what type of leader you are, all the way through to the practice and experiential learning of what it is to be a good leader, it's an absolutely critical part of our, all of our programs.